Welcome to Lions Talk. I'm Joe. Listen, we got to talk about these people that are just absolutely insane. The first thing is, you know, being a Lions fan, you hear a lot of bullshit. You hear a lot of conjecture. You hear a lot of SOL type bullcrap. There's people that actually think that this Lions draft was bad. Because they think Aiden Hutchinson isn't a good player, or they think they they, they don't want to trade for Jameson Williams because he has a knee injury, or they thought they breached on Josh Pascal, or they reached on Kirby Joseph, or they took a guy in James Mitchell who has a knee injury, took a guy in Malcolm Rodriguez who they say is undersized. No one knows who James Houston is unless he watched the, the uh, Jackson State and Chase Lucas. He plays on Arizona State, so. What am I trying to get at? You know, the, the, here's the reality. These fans are sickle morons. They are sickle morons. Let me just put it to you frankly. These fans are the same fans who claim that, you know, they needed to build a defense, they needed to build a defense, they needed to build a defense. And you look at a guy like Josh Pascal, right? You look at a guy like Josh Pascal, and you go, "What does he do well? Well, he can go. He can play any position on the line, right? So that helps the defensive line up because you're you're adding depth to the defense line. That's one thing that you look at the Detroit Lions. You look at Romeo Okwara coming off an Achilles injury. We don't know how he's going to perform. Julian Okwara, Austin Bryant, they're they're nice, but they're, they haven't showed Julian Okwara start, starting to show." The flashes that you would you would like to see for from a, a defensive end is, is I think he's going to his third year. Josh Pascal on some people's boards was a top twenty prospect. And the Lions got him at forty six. A guy like Aiden Hutchinson. They picked at two. There's comps that are coming out, and I, I think I don't think they're right, but there's a Joey Bosa comp. There is a, a Kyle Vandebosch comp. And I think if you go in the middle, you're still getting a good player. Jameson Williams. I, I see a lot of Will Fuller, you know, the Will Fuller comp because he's a fast player. But there's there's a little bit of Tyreek Hill on Jameson Williams, I think. You know, you look at a guy like Malcolm Rodriguez, right? I look at him as a guy who could come in. He could play. He's a he's a bull. He's a bull. He rocks games. So he plays really, really well. I think what you see, what you see now, this Detroit Lions draft was specifically what Brad Holmes is intending to do by by building the best roster. When you look at this Lions team as a whole, you go, okay, secondary could be good. Jerry Jacobs isn't coming in second year. AJ Parker's coming in second year. Awarwe is, is playing was playing very, very well last year. You know, who has come back off the injury? Belafonte. Uh, Gilbert, all those guys. There's, there's still a lot of talent in that secondary. You got Tracy Walker, the safety spot, all that stuff. My issue with this, this, these fans that the, the, the claim this was a bad draft. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. And most important, most importantly, most of these people that that bring up these false narratives, like, oh, we could have got Jordan Davis. Oh, we could have got Kyle Hamilton instead of Jameson Williams. I don't know if you watched this team last year or in perspective, but just because you have one good wide receiver doesn't mean you can't get another one. You know, for the longest time, if you were watching the Detroit Lions, Calvin Johnson would go out there, he would he'd play with a guy like Chris Durham, Nate Burleson at the end of his career. No tight end to speak of. You look at this Lions roster, you got TJ Hawkinson, DeAndre Swift, Top five offensive line. You got DJ Chark, Amron St. Brown, Josh Reynolds. You add in a guy like a James Mitchell. You add in a guy like Jameson Williams. Jameson Williams could take the top off of defense. When I look at this roster after the draft, I think this team could be really, really good. They could be better than people think next year. And I think if you're a Lions fan and you're poo-pooing it, you're, you're, you're just not smart. You, you you seriously just aren't smart. You're a dumbass. 
You don't know what you're talking about. All this time, you uh, there's been people that have said, we need defensive end help. We need defensive line help. They build that defensive line. They get Josh Pascal. They get Aiden Hutchinson. They double down at the defensive line spot. And I hear dumbasses on 97 ticket, like Karsh Nederson, saying, we want to know Kobe Dean. Listen, everybody passed on Kobe Dean at least three effing times. He went at the bottom of the third round, okay? There's a reason he went at the bottom of the third round. He's an undersized linebacker who did, didn't want to get didn't want to get a surgery, and he didn't run a 40. I mean, if you're a team, you're not going to pick a guy who played on one of the most talented defenses in history, I would admit. I, I, you think you're going to look back on this George defense, and you're going to be like, that was one of the most talented college defenses of all, all, all time. Probably rivaling the Miami Hurricanes of 2002. But how do you know he was good? Like Jordan Davis, Devontae White, they really they really gave N'Kobe Dean a clean pro- pocket where he can go from sideline to sideline. You know, he wasn't like Devin Bush where Devin Bush was beating blocks and going to the side and making, making plays in the first round. You know, that was the first round pick that the Steelers got, and he's been pretty good, but he's been banged up too. He's on our side as linebacker as well. Those are the things that just don't make sense to me. And these people... They always make these stupid ass comparisons. They always say like the oh SOL type bullshit. You hear it all the time. Oh, you know, they, they didn't take my guy, so I gotta be all pissed off and be a dumbass about it. Listen. It's important to for Brad Holmes to make these these picks the way he made them. Because he scouted these guys. I love what Brad Holmes does. I think he's been doing a fantastic job. He's, when you look at the LA Rams and you look at the guy like Jordan Fuller, who he picked in the sixth round, that he was had a big hand in picking. Even Les Snead has said that Jordan Fuller has been one of the best safeties in football. Now he came in, he, he he made plays. Brad Holmes knows what he's doing. I don't care about Lewis Seen. I don't care about none of those people. I think what the Lions did was at fundamental talent that's going to take them to the next step in the rebuild. When you're rebuilding, you just want to get talent on the, on the field. Period. End of story. Period. You're not looking You're not looking to fill needs. You don't fill needs. That's not what good organizations do. Now, when you're the Baltimore Ravens or the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Patriots, you can, you can do that. You know, and you're a, a, a proven organization. You can you can take a player, you know, in a neat spot. And if he doesn't work out, he doesn't work out. But when you're rebuilding, you need all the effing talent that you can get. Period. End of story. Period. End of story. So these people saying Brad Holmes should have took Kayvon Thibodeau. I don't sweat you. Kayvon Thibodeau could be a great player. He has some concerns, but I don't. I, don't, I think those are well, well, just. They're not really put out in the right you know, frame. Jameson Williams, I think he's going to be a great player. I think what you got to understand is these vocal minority Lions fans are just straight up dumbasses. They are just the dumbest people on earth. And I see it a lot. And it's not the vocal majority. The vocal majority is actually pretty passive and everything. But the vocal minority is nothing will ever be good enough. And that's why we're in the position we're in. But I had to get this out there. Hope you enjoyed the content. This is Detroit Lions News, Lions Talk by Joe Chap. I will see you tomorrow. We'll be going through some more stuff. And we'll see what we'll see what happens tomorrow with the news coming out at uh, on the hour. So